Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Chinenyangwa here again today. Welcome back to Nenye's diary. So today I'm going to be sharing with you all a very important topic. I do hear a lot of people complain. I've been doing this, I've been doing that, I've been putting in a whole lot of work. Still, I am not getting the desired result I needed. A lot of factors might be at play. Maybe there's something you are not doing right that makes you not to get the desired result you've been looking forward to. So today, I'm going to be sharing with you reasons why you are not losing weight. Weight loss journey isn't just that easy. It is a process. It is frustrating when you put in a whole lot of work, you exercise, you do one or two. But at the end, you are not getting the desired shape you need. And so today, Nayama is here again to share with you all the main reasons why you are not losing weight. Number one is that you are not exercising. Come on, how do you intend to lose weight when you don't exercise? It's not possible. You need to put in a whole lot of work. You need to put your body at play for you to get the desired result you need. People on the high side often times say, I need to lose weight. I need to do this one. I don't like my body shape anymore. I'm so big. I'm so fat. But at the end of the day, they don't put in enough work towards achieving what they want. When you tell them you need to exercise at least six days in a week, they'll be like, wow, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's not magic. You cannot lose that weight when you don't put in enough work. And most of the times, people love to do cardio. So when you are doing cardio, you need to give yourself at least five to six days every week at a moderate interval of at least one hour, 30 minutes for you to get that desired result. So, and secondly, under not exercising, you need strength training. What do I mean by strength training? You need those intense workouts for you to be able to shake it off. That's the kind of intense exercise you need. So number two is that you are not sleeping well. Your sleep deprivation affects our overall body health. So when you don't get enough sleep, your body will not function well. So we need to get at least eight hours of sleep every single day. And while you are awake, you'll be craving on so many things. You'll be looking for something to snack on, looking here and there for something to snack on. So that is one of the reasons why you are not losing weight. So the third one is that you are too stressed out. Stress and weight gain goes hand in hand like this. They work hand in hand. When you are stressed out, you release a hormone called cortisol, which increases your appetite as well as increasing the fat storage around your abdominal region. So when you are stressed out, you do not lose weight as desired. The fourth one is that you are eating too much. Anything that passes by, you eat. Burger, you eat. Anything like when I mean eating too much, so some people are gluten. They cannot see food without eating. Whenever they see something, they must snack on that at that point in time. So when you eat too much, you can never lose weight. You snack on every single thing that passes around you. So I think I'm coming to this part, um, it's divided into two. What kind of food do you eat? And what quantity do you eat? So portion control plays a huge role in this aspect when trying to lose weight. You cannot be on a weight loss journey and you'll be eating five wraps of semo. Who does that? Or five wraps of fufu? Who does that? You must not snack on every single thing that passes you by. You need to control yourself. So discipline is also very important when you are on a weight loss journey. If you cannot discipline yourself, then how do you intend to achieve that? So you need consistency, discipline for you to be able to get the desired result you are looking at. The fifth one is that you are not consistent with your exercise and you are not eating healthy. Some people will say, eh, I've been working out for two months, three months, I am not seeing the result. How do you work out? Do you work out today? You give yourself next three weeks to start again? No, it will not work. So when you start a weight loss journey, you need to make time for it. The way you make out time for your job, this is the same way you make out time for your weight loss journey. For you to be able to get that desired result. You need to be consistent. You choose a pattern or a way that will be convenient for you. If you are a working class person, you know how to go about it. You need to reschedule yourself in a way that is going to suit you very well. Then it depends on the time you still go to work. Some people go to work by 9, some by 10. So if you can be able to wake up around 6 in the morning, go to the gym or you do in-house exercise, at least give yourself one hour every single day. Make it a part of you. Be consistent, do it like at least five or six times in a week, then rest on Sundays. Then you are going to achieve that desired result you are looking at. And also, what kind of food do you eat? Are you on a weight loss journey to be eating an unhealthy food? It is not good because weight loss journey involves two categories 
what you eat, the kind of workouts you do. So if you're on a weight loss journey and you're eating anyhow, is a no-no. You need to re-strategize. You need to plan it all again to know what suits you well. So when you're on a weight loss journey, you need to plan your diet very well. I have a jotter where I wrote what I was eating when I was on a weight loss journey. I was so consistent with it. For straight four months, I wasn't eating anything that has to do with carbs. I avoided bread, yam, spaghetti, um, rice. Whenever I want to eat rice, I eat it with a lot of vegetables. So you need to plan your diet very well because both diet and workouts work hand in hand when you are on a weight loss journey the sixth one is that um blow it all on the weekend what do i mean by that some people will say eh, it's weekends already i'm going to be making weekend my shit day i can eat whatever i want anytime i want it's a no no you can't be having a shit weekend when you're on a weight loss journey when you're on a healthy diet and you exercise for five days in a week then you come to the weekend to spoil all the things you've labored for some people use that weekend to eat a whole lot we see them eating, eating burger, we see them eating fufu, we see them eating a whole lot of unhealthy foods all because they are on a shit weekend. It cannot work and you will not get that desired shape you need. Some people's metabolism are so slow, why some their own is so fast? Imagine when you have a slow metabolism, you've been exercising for straight five days, then you come to the weekend, you went and eat what you're not supposed to eat. You ate more than the calories you even burned throughout the weekend. So how do you expect to lose weight? You can't lose that weight. That is where you can be exercising and you'll be murmuring every time, I've been doing this, I've been doing that. Still, so I am not losing weight. So this is another factor that you need to consider. Let's just remove that shit day and put it to one side. There's nothing like shit day. You need to live healthy. You need to eat healthy. You need to be consistent with your workouts. When you follow this plan, you'll get that desired shape you are looking at in no fewer months. When I talk about um, blowing it off the weekend, there are some things you need to consider while trying to blow it off the weekend. There's something we call a free for all weekend. I think I've explained it earlier about cheat days. It involves cheat days, a free for all weekend. So rather than doing all those cheat days on a weekend, why not try to eat in between the week? So at least choose one or two treats to enjoy and then continue your healthy living for the rest of the week. What I mean by that is that maybe in between the week, you choose to eat burger. You can buy a burger and eat, then you continue your exercise. So it's no longer a shit weekend as people used to call it because that shit weekend is when they tend to open their mouth and be eating a whole lot. So when you eat that in between the week, you are still on the right track. So and some people will now say, eh, let me just reward myself. I've been doing a whole lot. Why are you rewarding yourself? You are on a weight loss journey and you want to reward yourself by eating more. No, the only reward I think you can give to yourself at that time is maybe if you have the money, you can buy yourself a pair of shoes. A pair. At least someone like me, when I'm on a weight loss journey, I'm always determined. I like, when I mean I am disciplined, I am that disciplined that no matter what you eat in my presence, I always hold myself. I'm targeting at something. So I need to get that point I'm targeting at for me to be able to start eating what I need. But at that moment that I am exercising, I am always disciplined. Rather, I will just buy something to just make myself feel happy. That's the kind of reward I give to myself. And so if you can do that for yourself, I think it will be beneficial to you and your weight loss process. I have a whole lot of reasons why people are not losing weight. Then you keep moving. What I mean by keep moving is that, you know, some days you might wake up, you might feel tired, you wouldn't have the strength to do anything that morning, even to go dress up for the gym or for the indoor exercise, you wouldn't have the energy to do that. So what I mean by keep moving, the only thing you can do at that point, when you're sick, you cannot be able to exercise for the day, you can take a walk. Just take a long walk. It's part of exercise. I do that, I still do that up till now. I've stopped exercising anyways, but this period, what I normally do is that sometimes I'll just say, ah, oh, like my body is heavy, I need to just go shake it off small. The only thing I could do is just for me to take a long walk. Yeah, so you have to keep moving. Instead of not doing anything at all, you keep moving. Take a long walk. It helps a lot. So this one I'm going to list now is the part a lot of people complain when they get to this point. Eh, I've been doing that. I've been doing this. I am not seeing the result. I'm wow you haven't given yourself enough time to see the results yes 
you've not given yourself enough time to see the result. Some people, when they start their weight loss journey, within one week, they will not be like, I've not seen anything, I've not lost any weight. So you need to give it time. When they say time reveals it all, give it time. So whatever you are doing in this life, give it time. So for you to see that kind of results you are looking at, you really need to give it time. Let me say you are weighing 90 kg and your target weight is 70 kg. You definitely need to give it time. You cannot see the result in less than one week or two. You need to give it time. Give it at least one month, two months. Then when you climb the weighing machine, you will see the result of what you are doing. So at this point, when people when they do not see the result they are looking at, they tend to back out. They will not be like, ah, I can't be stressing myself anymore. I need to stop this exercise I'm doing. I am not seeing the result. So you don't need to see that result immediately. It's a gradual process. That is why I said weight loss journey is a process. So the next one is that you have a medical condition. Yes, our health affects us all. When you have one or two medical conditions, it might make you not to lose weight. And sometimes the medications we take, it affects our overall system, especially when you have a thyroid disease. When you have hypothyroidism, you'll be adding weight. That's why sometimes people will be exercising. They'll be telling you they've done have exercise for four months, five months, but I'm not seeing the result. Maybe you have a medical condition you don't even know of. So our thyroid plays a huge role in our overall health. And from this whole thing I listed here today, you need to check yourself and ask yourself some questions of the things you are not doing right that is making you not lose weight or get the desired shape you need. So I'm um, here. Yeah. So this is officially the end of this video and also if you like what I'm doing, please let's make this comment section interactive and also this is officially the end of this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.